Hey, hi, hello. My name is Alexis Williams and I am the Family Engagement Specialist for Cycle 9. As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Oreo Mickey Mouse Rice Krispie Treats. Yummy. Before we get started with the food, I wanted to go ahead and start washing my hands and everything, get all up on the wrist. I hope you all are washing your hands and taking care of yourself and staying safe during this quarantine. So first things first, you're going to need three tablespoons of butter. I went ahead and cut my butter up into smaller pieces. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it does make it easier once it gets to the pan. Then you're going to need four and a half cups of mini marshmallows, three cups of Rice Krispie cereal, nine Oreos chopped. I did not chop my Oreos. I smashed my Oreos in a Ziploc bag, as you can see here. I just put it in this little bag and I just kind of used my hands and smashed all around until it got into smaller pieces. Two cups of chocolate chips. I used semi-sweet for this. You are welcome to use dark chocolate, um, whatever chocolate you prefer, it's up to you. And then finally, we're going to use half a teaspoon of vanilla. So now we got the ingredients out of the way. You're going to need a pan that's covered with foil, wax, or parchment paper. I have foil, so that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and spray the foil down with nonstick butter spray. Make sure it gets all covered up. And then you're gonna go ahead and set it aside because you don't need it at this moment. So to now get started with the actual baking process, adults, this is where you will step up. Um, since we are dealing with fire, you're going to put in the three tablespoons of butter over a medium to low fire and you're going to stay by your stove so that your butter, your butter doesn't stick. You're just going to whisk it around, make sure it doesn't, you know, get brown. At this point, you're going to start adding in your marshmallows little by little, whisking it around. I tried to add it little by little, but that was not working for me. You see that big glob that just went in? It was just... It was not working. So I just started to throw the marshmallows in. And at this point I realized the whisk was not working for me and I needed a real spoon. So I'm just gonna keep stirring and stirring until it gets to the consistency that I would like it to be. Do not let this video fool you. I was stirring this for a good four to five minutes trying to get it all nice and creamy and I finally got it to the consistency that I want it to be and then once you finish with that you're going to set it off of the fire you're gonna take it off the fire and put it aside once you set it aside you're going to start stirring in the vanilla that half teaspoon of vanilla that you had then you're going to start pouring in your cereal I was pouring in my cereal little by little stirring it in and then I'm going to set that aside and pick up the Oreos, put the Oreos in, and then just kind of go back and forth and back and forth. You won't see me pick up the Oreos again, but I put all of the ingredients in. You want to make sure that you use every little thing because the less you use, the stickier it will be. So you don't want it like super sticky. Trust me. All right, so now that that's where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and try to scrape, and I mean scrape this stuff as much as I can out of the pot onto the foil that we um, sprayed earlier with the nonstick butter spray. So now we're going to try to Get it off that spoon and then we're going to flatten it to your desired flatness just you want it to be even all the way around So now that it's at my desired flatness, I'm going to do a quick reminder of the shape that we are making, which is the Mickey Mouse shape. Thought it would be easy to do with the ears and the head. 
You can use a knife for this to cut out the shape that you want. I wanted to make this as kid friendly as possible, so I'm going to use my hands to mold out the shape. You can pinch away what you don't need, um, put back in what you do need. This is not a perfection contest. This is all about having fun and you using your imagination. So as you watch me attempt to mold my Rice Krispie treat into the Mickey Mouse shape, I wanted to go ahead and take this time to let you guys know that we miss you immensely. We miss interacting with our families of each campus and we really, really, really miss our students. I hope you guys are being safe and learning new things and I cannot wait to see you soon. This is the final shape of the first one. I went ahead and did the other four off camera. And now I'm just going to try to finish up the last one. You want to use everything you have left over. Leave no crumb behind. Um, just go ahead and put it together. I'm trying to make everything a little circular, but it's just going to look how it looks at this point. I'm going to go ahead and put them all on the same pan so you can see and here we go these are all of my little Mickey Mouse Oreo Rice Krispie treats so now for the chocolate you're going to take those two cups of chocolate chips and put them in a microwavable bowl and put it on I you can put it on a minute I put it on 30 seconds because what you want to do is check on it every 30 seconds to make sure that it's melted right now it's not see it's still hard so i'm going to put it right back into the microwave and let it melt for another 30 seconds so this is what you want it to look like smooth and creamy just like this i love chocolate y'all i love chocolate this is going to be for the mickey mouse ears now here I was working harder, not smarter, and I was bringing the Rice Krispie Treat to the chocolate. It is so much easier to bring the chocolate to the Rice Krispie Treat. I will do that um, towards the end. But this is what you want to do. You want to cover the ears up completely. I still was trying to figure out what I was doing at this point with the ears. I was still making a mess. Don't do this either. It's clearly still messy. <laughs> See, I told y'all I finally got it at some point when it was all over. Um, you want to again bring the bowl to the Rice Krispie treat. At this point, I'm just trying to cover up the chocolate, use what I can, cover up mistakes if you have any. Again, this isn't a perfection contest, I'm just going to try to cover it up with chocolate. this is the final look and that is all i hope you guys enjoy making these as much as i did and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye